How's it going everyone and thanks for visiting Dipscovery. Today we're looking at the Crystal Series 280X Micro ATX case from uh, Corsair. <laughs> I forgot the manufacturer then. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be giving this a thing and unboxing, have a look exactly how it is inside and what you get. And we're also going to um, see what it looks like when there's a full system built in it because I'm building it uh, inside this for my friend as a Micro ATX build. So let's have a look and crack this thing open. All right, so I've got my trusty uh, knife here. Um, well, just before we crack this thing open, you know, we'll just show you the front of the box, just kind of tells you the 280X, exactly what kind of components you get into it, how it's all built. And on the side there, you've also got some information on like, you know, kind of what you get inside, inside the actual box and all that kind of jazz. So let's just open up this thing here. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, got the double side tape. Um, so this is live, live stuff going on. But yeah, you don't really get, not a lot of people go for my ATX, ATX builds these days. A lot of them tend to be full ATX or full towers. Um, but yeah, it's good to see that we still get some nice micro ATX cases going on. It's not cheap, this thing. Um, I think it sets you back. Is it 150, I think? Um, but yeah, I'll have a link in the description anyway, so you can check that out. So right in uh, straight away, when you open up the thing, you've got the Crystal Series 280X Micro ATX case manual in there. And then the best way to empty this thing out is to actually flip the box upside down like that, you know, and then pull out these plastic tabs here. Uh, not plastic, sorry, cardboard handles. Uh, pull them out and just kind of lift that up. There you go, and bothers your uncle, because it saves you from flipping it upside down and all that kind of stuff. But once you got it upright, uh, just go like that, and then we're back to where it was. And you can just pull out these, these sides here as well. So we'll just pull that out, put them to the side. You know, it's good packaging that Corsair do, because you get these really nice, um, thick protective foam inserts, you know, so you don't want to get it damaged while it's in transit because, you know, you probably get, uh, you can easily get damaged these days with all these cases having tempered glass. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, open up the bag. So it comes in a nice uh, anti-static bag. Actually, I don't think it's anti-static, it's a normal plastic bag that you get there. You know, so I'll just shut that down there. All right, here we go. Oh, it smells, got that nice new component smell. Oh, it does smell good. Um, right, so this is obviously the uh, uh, back side. Uh, well, the, the cable business end side anyway. And it's got a nice little uh, vent as well here with a, uh, uh, a removable uh, dust filter. You know, you just got, a, it's one of them magnetic ones. So you can like, it's hard to get your fingers in, but there you go. You can just peel it off like that. And it's got uh, magnets on all four sides and you can just slot it back on. So that's pretty cool. It's also got some fan mounting holes there if you wanted to put fans on that side, but not really necessary, not much going on there. Um, but you can have your power supply there uh, with the fan vented out anyway. Um, on the front here, really nice. Really nice sleek look to these things. Um, not much going on. Um, you've got the black front side there and you've got the uh, uh, tempered glass uh, front panel as well here. Really cool. Doesn't look like much when it's off, but when you've got it on and the fans are all on, uh, all the lights will shine through uh, on this thing. And you've got two LL120 fans as well. You've got the glass uh, is all covered by protective uh, film as well, which is pretty uh, handy to have. We've got a, a reset button, power on, off button on the top. Um, you've got your microphone headphone jack and you also got two USB 3.0 ports, which is good to see. Um, again, on the front, on the top, uh, sorry, we've got the uh, another little sheet of tempered glass, um, which and underneath that is some uh, fan mesh as well with the removable fan mesh filter, which again, you know, you you don't have to have the tempered glass on there, but you know, it is it is there, it's removable. There is like a a bit of a five mil gap for airflow, so it's not your airflow isn't fully uh, impeded uh, by that sheet of tempered glass. Uh, if we move on to the side here. Obviously, you've got your full tempered glass window. And the good thing about the tempered glass on this thing, which of course they tend to do with a lot of their cases, they tint it a little bit dark. So it's got a little nice smoked effect. And it looks really cool um, when you've got lights inside the system. Um, and you've got the thumb, uh, these are like thumb slash uh, Phillips, uh, not Phillips, sorry, flathead screws uh, on there. 
Um, on the back side here, um, we've got your uh, power supply uh, socket will go in there. You've got your uh, uh, motherboard IO got there and you've got your four um, PCIe slots on the back there as well. If you open up this, you've got access to a little quick hard drive uh, slot here, which also houses all the parts that you need for the system as well. So uh, it's a nice little hideaway there and you get these like boxes here, which we've got little labels on, I'm saying 280X. So, you know, make sure you've got all the right stuff. So, and you've got little Allen keys and everything you need to kind of, um, uh, you know, put your system together, like all your motherboard screws and standoffs and all that kind of stuff all come in there with all that jazz as well. So that's pretty nice that you, it's quite a, a neat place to put it. And you've got easy access to your hard drives as well in case anything goes wrong or you want to use them as hot swap and swap them out. Anyway, so let's open the thing up and see what exactly the interior looks like. Okay, so on the uh, actual tempered glass, it's got these rubber grommets on each corner as well to stop it from clanging around, you know, when you attach it to there. You have to be a bit careful with these uh, screws here, these screw holes here, because they can get worn over time. It's already done that to one of my Corsair ones. It depends how often you're going to be going into your PC that much. You know, if you're a bit of an enthusiast and you go into it quite a lot because you want to tweak and mess around with stuff, it's something to bear in mind that they can get worn out quite easily. Anyway, inside the actual uh, uh, housing unit, um, it's a good thing about this case, which I really like, is the, the power supply is in the back portion. And it makes it really easy to cable manage because you've got like three large grommets here, um, which you can just route your cables through. Obviously, depending on your motherboard, if you're using a micro ATX board, you'll only be using this grommet because um, it'll come out to, uh, you know, just past there, I think, on, um, on, uh, on, on if you had a smaller uh, ATX board, like a mini ATX, for example. Um, you could use the, the other grommets, but you've also got some holes here to pass through, you know, your motherboard um, uh, um, connections like your, your USB and your fan connections, all that kind of stuff. But everything's like cleverly laid out. You've got quite a bit of room at the front as well um, for your fans. Now, if you want to do a hydro cooler, you can put it at the top here or you could put it at the front, but it's probably better putting it at the top. So, um, you know, the, what, the, 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 the pumps at the lower part of the, uh, the case. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it looks really smart. You've got at the bottom here as well, you can put two extra fans there, but it also has a removable um, fan filter here as well, um, which is, uh, is good to see. Um, and you get the two LL120 RGB fans. So you think about it, those fans are about 22, 24 pound each. So you're getting like nearly 40, 50 quid's worth of fans there already included in the case. So it's good to have that. Um, and you've also got the RGB hub in there. So all you need to do really is buy two extra fans maybe, um, and you throw them at the, uh, on the top or the bottom. And then you've got a full case fan really, uh, full case with the fans. Um, so yeah, that's uh, good to see. Obviously you've got your USB 3.0 wires and all that kind of jazz there and your, your extension for your front panel IO. So yeah, quite a simple layout. Simple's always uh, good in my books. Uh, let's have a look at the back and we'll see what the, the business end looks like. Okay, so the back panel comes off quite simple, you know, just thumb screws uh, once again. Um, let's have a look here. So the good thing about this one, um, oh wow, it's, just, it's a Corsair Commander that. I thought it only came with the USB RGB uh, hub, but that's actually a, a Corsair Commander fan controller. So, that is actually really good because a Corsair Commander is quite expensive. I think they're about, is it 60 pounds for a Corsair Commander? But that's a full fan controller that you can plug everything in. And I didn't even know it came with that. So that's quite interesting, came with that. I'm sure I've seen another version which only came with the, with the RGB version. But yeah, no, that's quite cool. I'm surprised to see that, that you do get that with it. Um, obviously you can put a full ATX uh, PSU in there. Um, you know, something like this for a 280X, you probably, we're, we're going to be fitting a 650 watt um, EVGA actually, not Corsair, uh, but it'll fit in there comfortably like that. Um, you probably, you might struggle to fit a uh, 1000 watt with the extra length, um, with the Corsair Commander being in the way, it'll probably hit it, um, or it might hit the cables, but you know, you, if you're putting that kind of big of a power supply, then 
uh, in a case this big, it's a bit unnecessary. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything else you got, you got hard drive space up there. And the actual hard drive cage is actually removable. You got a thumb screw there, which you can remove the hard drive cage um, and use it to gain a bit of extra space, maybe a bit of extra airflow. We're actually, um, I think we are gonna remove it because we don't actually need it for anything. You've got actually more hard drive space down here as well. These are actually 2.5 inch SSDs. Uh, SSDs or laptop drives you could put there. So you do have room for extra drives if you did remove that anyway. So if you want to just SSD build, get rid of all that noise, you can get rid of the main big hard drive cages and you can just replace them with that one. And you've got easy access to the back plate if you remove that of the uh, uh, motherboard back plate, you know, if you wanted to take off the cooler or anything like that. So that's pretty much it really. Um, it's just a quick first look. I'm not gonna be benchmarking anything like that, but I am gonna be building a system into this thing. So uh, yeah, you're gonna be seeing some uh, fast forwarded footage of me building like a system into this with uh, my creatives build. So yeah, uh, check, check it out. Now here we have the finished build, all completed in its glory. So you can see what we've gone for here is an RTX 3060 Ti by Aorus. And it fits in quite nicely in the uh, Corsair 280X case. With about um, an inch and a half, two inches worth of clearance before it hits the um, front fan. So if you were going for a longer card, say like the... Uh, RTX 3080 or 3090, you might want to bear that in mind because there is, um, you might have some clearance issues. Um, in terms of the fans, we've gone for, obviously it comes with the LL120s already fitted to at the front, but we have also gone for the Corsair um, Hydro uh, water cooler, which is the 240 mil one, which is, comes with two LL120 matching fans as well, which does look really sharp in the case. The case overall is very uh, compact, but the cable management on the other side is absolutely brilliant and it makes it really easy to route those cables and make it a really neat job of this. Overall, quite happy with the build and how it turned out. It looks really neat and sleek and it doesn't take much work to do um, a good cable job in this case um, with such much room at the back, you know, with the uh, power supply cables. So anyway, um, really recommend it. I hope you like the video and um, please get subscribe if you do find this video useful. If you have any comments at all, put them in the uh, description below and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, and please like uh, and uh, share the video if you do like it. Thank you very much guys and I will catch you on the next one.